सो ये गाइज वेलकम टू अनादर वीडियो एंड एज यू माइड एव गेस्ट फ्रॉम द टाइटल एंड एज यू सी ऑन माई स्क्रीन आई एम रनिंग टी डब्ल्यू आर पी एंड टू डेज वीडियो इज अ वेरी वेरी सिंप्लीफाइड वन बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट टू ऑल माई सब्सक्राइबर्स नो वॉट टी डब्ल्यू आर पी इज वॉट आर दी अदर ऑप्शन एंड हाउ यू एक्चुअली डू अन एंड्रॉइड बैकअप वॉट अन एंड्रॉइड बैकअप इज एंड हाउ टू रिस्टोर इट सो दैट योर लाइफ वाइल फ्लैशिंग रॉम्स ऑन द वीडियोज दैट आई मेक रेकमेंडिंग टर्स ऑफ डिफरेंट रॉम्स ऑलमोस्ट एवरी सिंगल डे बिकम्स दैट मच ईजी सो टूडेज वीडियो इज ऑफ कोर्स वॉट इज टी डब्ल्यू आर पी एंड हाउ टू परफॉर्म अन एंड्रॉइड right back up but before we do that why don't you consider subscribing to our channel and hit that notification bell icon because you would not miss out on any uploads that we upload at the same time here's a card for my second channel that is kratos 390 go and check that channel out as well now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials my name is kalash let's see what twrp is Hey guys, welcome to another video and in today's video we're going to look at TWRP. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is a lot of my subscribers are new guys who've never done this and they want to do it for the first time. And the question that comes to their mind is what is TWRP and why we need to use it. So right now we are running a OnePlus 5. We have a few of the phones here as well. But yeah, we are running a OnePlus 5 with a custom ROM that is the One Fi OS and we have TWRP installed. So first thing first what we will do is we will go ahead and boot into TWRP. So in case you you have a, a OnePlus 5 well that's how you boot into TWRP the method that i prefer to do is i either press volume down and power or volume up and power to go to the fast boot menu which then gives me access to a shortcut to go to TWRP and that's a little convenient and less tricky for you guys okay so when you press the volume button you it allows you to go to recovery mode so press the power button after that and bam it will reboot into recovery mode Now I'm going to explain in brief what is TWRP whatever I know about it at the same time I will show you in this particular video how to perform a an Android backup now what is an Android backup an Android backup is something you should do before you flash a new rom it basically creates an image of your entire system entire software entire rom the way it is and then you can restore it after trying a rom if you don't like it so all the apps and everything the data would not be lost and stuff like that but you have to be very very careful when you do that and i will be explaining all the other options of twrp as well now as you can see here we are on the home screen of twrp and let me just explain you all the basic functions that are available we have something called as install which allows you to install a file or a zip basically it directly takes you to the file menu or the file context wherein you have a list of files available that you can flash using twrp The next option is wipe. Now, this normal wipe would do a factory reset, so it wipes basically Dalvik cache, not including internal storage. But if you want to go to advanced, there are other options as well. So if you go to advanced wipe, you can choose which partition you want to wipe off your phone. If you have a pen drive or a flash drive connected, you can choose to wipe that as well. So we have Dalvik. cache then cache then system system is basically a rom data is basically a user data internal storage is all the contents on the internal storage of your phone's memory now these are three navigation bu buttons of course you have a repair or change file system option as well i have never used it so i don't think i'll be using it and then you have to swipe to wipe and the next option is backup now this is the most important part when it comes to backup and restore because as you can see here there are a ton of partitions i will explain which is what as much as i know boot is basically the boot partition which contains the boot information for your software you have cache then you have recovery of course that is something like twrp system is basically your os and this system image is your os image vendor image is something that was introduced in android 8 and further apart from that data exclusive sto excluding storage so that is basically your user data modem is all your radio information like you know the imei and other stuff but the main partition here is efs now efs actually contains all the information about your mac address your imei information serial number so if you mess up this partition you will end up with a phone which doesn't catch on network and doesn't have imei so these things now once you select all these that means these are highlighted then you have the option of select storage now you can choose to back up on the internal storage if you don't have space and if you have a phone which allows you to use a memory card or a sd card you can choose to use the sd card or in this case as this phone doesn't have a sd card slot you can use a pen drive that is a flash drive using usb storage now this thing will take a long time so i will not be doing it now 
but then again these are the approximate sizes 64 mb this that this that and if you go to select storage it also shows you how much space is available and if you swipe now it will show you how much storage it is going to use you have options like enable compression skip digest generation disable free space check before backup and then you can encrypt your backup with a password as well if you have some sensitive information now one important thing to remember this will back up all your rom everything but it won't back up your internal audio files media files pictures videos so be very careful that you know you, you should not end up in a situation wherein you do an android backup you copy it to your pc or something and then you wipe everything and you lose your media so please be very very aware of that now let's look at the other options of twrp now just like backup you have restore if you have an android backup on the internal or external storage you can select the storage here and if you have it will show you that there is a file available you just need to select it and swipe to restore so it will take 5 to 10 minutes and restore everything then you should be able to boot just fine apart from that you have this option called mount wherein you can mount different partitions you can also mount different partitions as read only again you can select storage and you can disable media transfer protocol that is transferring to the pc or stuff like that and then what you see over here is basically twrp settings you have zip signature verification reboot after installation and these are a lot of you know simplified at the same time a lot of technical terms but some of them are pretty self-explanatory like if you go over here you have the time zone you have the brightness for twrp you can enable or disable the timeout you have vibration for buttons key action vibration and then you have the language as well if you go to advanced you have options like copy log you can create a log of the installation context wherein if there is an error that you face while flashing that particular zip you will come to know what is the error or you can submit it to the developers you actually have a built-in file manager as well in twrp then you have terminal that is for terminal command adb sideload is something you would use to you know install a zip from pc using command prompt that is minimal adb and fastboot so this is the option available apart from that you have reboot so you can choose to reboot to system that is your os you can power off the phone you can reboot to the bootloader and you can reboot to recovery so there was a quick first look at twrp and what it does now i've tried to cover as many things as possible and do remember guys whenever i say backup 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 if you have twrp please do an android backup and copy it somewhere on your pc or a SD card which doesn't get formatted while flashing a ROM it will help you save a lot of time I hope you guys liked this informative video and let me know in the comment section if you want to see such videos on smartphone tutorials for now this is Kailash signing off at smartphone tutorials until the next one keep smiling take care goodbye